Hi everyone, Chrissy here from Bed and Blend Tea Co. I am going to do our tasting for July's Tea Club box, which I've had a lot of fun curating for you. We've got three boxes and three fantastic teas to go through together and hopefully you can pick up some tasting tips. Before we start, I just want to give a big shout out to Hello Dodo, who are our illustrators for this month. We have a different illustrator um, do the designs for each month and they've done this tasty summer uh, design with the little ice cream cone and the mug, which is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. And they're local to us down in Brighton as well, so yeah, I love it. So let's try Butter Brew. This is a blend of two black teas, Indian Assam and Sri Lankan Ceylon tea, uh, with calendula petals, which is a beautiful um, yellow, and also a hint of caramel. So it should taste like a really warming, creamy breakfast tea with a hint of toffee and caramel and vanilla. I'm gonna use our Brudini Gravity Steeper to brew my tea again. We use these in all of the stores and it's my favorite for brewing easy tea at home as well. So you just wanna take one heaped teaspoon. Um, remember the top tip of making sure it is a heaped teaspoon um, into your brewer of choice. You can use teapot, infuser, whatever you fancy. And I'm gonna check my card that tells me the brewing temperature and time. So for butter brew, we've got two to three minutes if we're enjoying it without milk or four minutes with milk. So I'm going to add my water, freshly boiled, and then I'm gonna set my timer for four minutes because I'm gonna enjoy it with milk. So my timer just went off and I'm gonna pour my tea out of my gravity steeper. Look at that color. and it smells like caramel. So this is great for people that love a breakfast tea, especially a breakfast tea with milk, but just want a bit of a twist. And I can smell caramel, vanilla, a bit of toffee, a little bit of like burnt toffee in there. And I love this one with milk. So I either add oat or dairy if I'm having it hot, or if I'm having it cold, sometimes I add coconut milk. There's a really good butter brew cream soda recipe on the website, and also a frappe version as well. So if you wanna get adventurous, you can try those out. Next up, Flavor Explorer box, which is my favorite box because it covers all different types of tea and flavors. They're great hot, cold, with milk, without, in cocktails, and I like to be a bit adventurous. So in this month's Flavor Explorer box, we've got jelly and ice cream, which is a rooibos tea, peach soda, which I'm gonna try with you today, and Summer of Love. Now, Summer of Love is back in the new tea world revamp, so it's brand new to us again, and peach soda won a vote back by our community a couple of years ago to win a permanent place on Tea Wars, so they're much loved blends. I'm gonna try peach soda. So peach soda is a fruit tea, um, lots of chunky fruit pieces, as well as rose. Oh, it smells good. Anyone that likes peach cordial, peach iced tea, you need to try peach soda. So I've cold brewed peach soda in our cold brew bottles, which is great for infusing any liquid with tea. So you just put the tea in the bottom, fill it up with milk, water, gin, and then you leave it to steep overnight and then it will infuse. This is peach soda and I've added lemonade. So the lemonade will be infused with that really peachy fruity taste. I've left it overnight and the tea is in there and all I'm going to do to enjoy is pour it over ice. That is actually lovely. Last up is our decaffeinated box, which features two of the same teas as Flavor Explorer. We've got jelly and ice cream and peach soda. So if you've got that box, you can do the peach soda I showed you earlier. And the last tea in there is pina colada, which is a fruit tea that tastes like pineapple, mango, yeah, it's great. So we're gonna try jelly and ice cream, which has got big chunks of strawberry in there, coconut, it smells like vanilla and jam, it's delicious. We're also gonna try this one cold brewed because of the weather, and I've done it in a different liquid to show you the versatility of the cold brew bottle. So it's cold brewed in oat milk, so I've just added my oat milk in here last night with the tea and you can see that it's infused. So you get a more creamy, almost milkshake vibe. Mm, 
I also really like this one hot um, on a cooler day and in the evening it's great to drink before bed because no caffeine and the vanilla and the strawberry sort of treat element make me think that I'm having like a warming hot chocolate type vibe in the evening. And before you go, I just wanted to show you our brand new cold brew bottles. They've had a new design on the front by our very talented designer, Rosie. And we've got this limited edition white color. Um, so if you want a white one, you need to be quick because they're only here for the summer. All right, I think we've tasted our three teas. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you have a wonderful month and you enjoy your new teas.